The electrical probe station is used to measure electrical properties of electronic devices. Specifically for this class, this electrical testing apparatus is used to measure the voltage current characteristics of diode devices in a sweep mode, where we evaluate the current in a device over a range of voltages as shown on the left. The sampling mode of operation measures the current over a period of time for a constant voltage while a mechanical stressor is applied to the sample periodically to observe piezoelectric behavior of the device. The tool consists of two primary components. A specialized microscope views and assists the fine positioning of the electrical probes on the device, and the parameter device analyzer provides integration of various current voltage measurements into a single high-resolution electronic instrument. The microscope has a binocular eyepiece to examine the positioning of the electrical probes onto the sample. The sample sits on the stage shown. Several objective lenses are available for a variety of magnifications. Adjustments of the microscope view can be done from the top rather than with the stage itself with this arm. In this way, there is no interference with the probes on the stage. Several source measurement units, or SMUs, are shown and are the probes that are capable of both sourcing and measuring at the same time. The probe tips are tungsten wires that contact the surfaces of the device to be tested. The XYZ positioning of the probes can be done with these knobs. The probes are powered with this parametric analyzer. The interface of the analyzer consists of a page control which allows the user to set up the details of the tests with respect to the identification of the SMUs to be used, the range of values to be investigated, the step size increment of the independent variable, the display of the data, and the graph information. The cursor control region uses either the dial or the arrow keys to move the cursor to various regions of the display during input of the setup parameters. The measurement control region allows a starting or stopping of a measurement. The operator can choose one of three levels of integration time for the measurement, short, medium, or long integration times. A parameter input keyboard is at the lower right for inputting and deleting values to the various pages of the program. Many functions can also be rapidly input by pressing the soft key shown next to the functions appearing in blue around the perimeter of the display. Once powered up, a default screen will appear after the initialization of the instrument is complete. The default screen shows the mode of operation, that is sweep or sampling in the upper left corner, and several columns of information, including the available SMUs in the units column, a voltage name and current name for each probe, as well as the mode in which the probe will be operating, and its function, that is independent variable, common or ground, etc. The independent variable is named in the function column as VAR1, VAR1 prime, or VAR2. For single variable evaluations, VAR1 must at least be present. The channel key in the page control shows the SMUs, names, and labels, and functions for your setup. The measure menu sets up the voltage or current range over which you want to perform your measurement, as well as the number of steps or increments of the independent variable you want to include. The display function sets up the coordinates of your graph, that is the X and Y axes and the range of values you want included, and the graph function finally displays the axes for the measurement to be taken. To set up the parameters for a sweep, we can toggle the cursor wheel until sweep appears in the box at the top left or hit the soft key shown on the upper right of the display screen. The cursor is moved by hitting the appropriate arrow key. In this case, we are showing how to change the V name from the default V1. The highlighted item will also appear at the lower left of the screen next to a line where we can then delete the old name by pressing the clear button in the edit menu on the analyzer. To input changes, make sure the blue key is pressed and lit as shown in the entry portion of the analyzer. This allows the text shown in blue above each key 
to be entered into the display. You can clear any existing information by pressing the clear button in the edit menu. To set up the sweep mode, we're going to call SM1 VNAME VS. We change the I1 name to IS. We leave the mode as common and the function as constant. We set up the second SMU, which will sweep the voltage. We call this VG. The I name is IG. The mode will be voltage, we change that to V, and the function in this case is going to be VAR1. We can choose this as our independent variable, and we can put this in the function column by pressing the key, the soft key, next to VAR1, shown in the upper right. The remaining rows are no longer needed, we can delete them by highlighting the beginning of each row and then pressing the delete row soft key at the bottom right. Moving to the measurement page, we can set up the conditions of our test. We will perform a single linear sweep from low to high voltage using minus one volt as our start value and one volt as our stop value. The voltage will increment in steps of 50 millivolts for a step total of 41 steps. This latter value is calculated from our inputs on start, stop, and step. For this sweep demonstration, we will measure the current voltage characteristics of a resistor. Placing the resistor setup on the stage, we'll need to adjust the positions of our probe needles to connect to the contacts on each side of the resistor. These adjustments are made in the X, Y, and Z direction with the knobs shown. Moving to the display menu under the page controls portion of the analyzer, we set up the ranges for the voltage and current axes in our graph. This is followed by depressing the graph button prior to running the test. The test is started by depressing the button mark single under knob sweep in the measurement section of the analyzer. Prior to that, we can also choose to change our run integration time in this menu as well. After the test is started, it may be necessary to adjust the display by using the auto scaling keys in the soft keys portion of the analyzer as shown. This resistor demonstration run shows the linear current voltage relationship dictated by Ohm's law. For a second demonstration, we will look at the turn on voltage for an LED device. LEDs, or light emitting diodes, are semiconductor devices that emit light when forward biased. Most LEDs turn on at forward biases of 1.8 to 3.3 volts. Therefore, we will sweep the range of minus 4 to plus 4 volts and observe the voltage current behavior. After the voltage sweep, we observe a rise in the current near 2.5 volts, close to typical turn-on voltages for blue LEDs. In this lab, the zinc oxide nanowires will be grown on the surface of a thin film of gold on top of a silicon wafer. 
To evaluate the diode characteristics of this device, we contact the silicon wafer which supports the wires with the ground SMU probe, that is SMU1. To expose the silicon in the region where the ground electrode is to be placed, some of the gold has to be scraped off the silicon surface. To make contact with the tops of the nanowires, we apply a small piece of silver coated metal foil across a small region of the die. The voltage is then applied between the top contacting foil and the silicon. Besides sweep mode, the tool is also used in a sampling mode in this lab. To change modes to sampling setup for the piezoelectric valuations, highlight the top left box and turn the cursor dial until sampling appears in the box or press the second soft key from the top. The setup in the channel page is similar to that of the sweep mode except that the SMU2 function is now set for constant instead of variable. In the sampling measurement menu, we are interested in applying a constant voltage and reading the current over a period of time. We set the initial interval to 100 milliseconds and a total sample time of 60 seconds. That is the time span over which we will observe the current. The graph will be set up to display time from 0 to 60 seconds on the x-axis and current on the y-axis. When we start the test, the cursor on the screen will move along the x-axis. A mechanical stressor applied to the device during this time will cause a spike in the current value at the time the stressor is applied. Although the actual demonstration of the piezoelectric behavior of the device was not performed in this video, the method by which the stressor is applied is shown here. A third SMU probe is applied to the foil contact on top of the nanowires mentioned earlier in the zinc oxide nanowire sweep setup. The probe tip is then cycled up and down to press down on the foil, applying stress to the nanowires while the voltage is being applied over time. A rough example of the contact is shown here here.